For the next step, we're going to blend the sides and the back section into the top section. So I, what I want to do first before we start with the clippers is I want to take this area here, remove this bulk here and blend it into the top before I go in with the clippers. If we just go in with the clippers first, we're going to create too much of a weight line here which is very difficult to blend out. If you can see from this angle, um, the hair grows straight out from the side of the head, which, which is um, thick hair that grows straight out from the side of the head is very difficult to work with. So you have to make sure you work from the top to the bottom and you're very smooth with your tools. So we're going to use our large scissor comb and it's going to act as a guard, not letting us get too close to the hair, to the head. And we're going to work this step all the way around. And what you want to picture in your mind is this straight up and down, which is going to create, which is going to finish off this square shape that we're talking about to leave the weight in the corners. So this angle is what we want to take when we're cutting. Now for the next step, we're going to work our way down to the eighth of an inch blade, which is our one and a half blade. We're going to do the same thing. Always remember to leave a quarter of an inch to a half an inch distance between where you left off with your previous blade. And start to pull the teeth away and very, very slowly rock the clipper away from the head. What that does, as I said before, it's going to create that nice smooth tapering effect and no lines. So we're going to work our way around. Now in the front, to control this wave in the front so the hair lays down better, what we're going to do is since the hair is so thick and it grows straight forward, the underneath layer actually is pushing this hair forward. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a freehand razor technique or a razor sculpting technique and sculpt the hair right on the head in the direction it grows. And then we're going to pick it up and do a little bit of a razor over comb. And what this is going to do, it's going to lighten that front up just right. So it's just going to lay back naturally. So what we want to do with this blade is as the head rounds in, we want to take an imaginary line straight up in the air. And what that's going to do is that's automatically going to blend it to the top and not leave any lines, especially in the front. Doing this step properly is what's going to save you time in the long run. You'll only have to do it once. So we're going to work our way all the way around with this 3 8 blade. We're going to over direct the hair all the way to the center area. And we're going to get a center guide. We're going to do it again on the right hand side and then we will do it again on the left hand side. So once we get to the right and left hand sides, what happens is we have our stationary guide back here and we have a, um, a center guide, we have the guide in the center that we're going to use, so we're going to have two guides. So now, if we want to take more hair off from the front, we're going to over direct it back again, but not as far. We created a new stationary guide and we're going to over direct it to that point. The next blade we're going to use is a 4-0 blade. This blade is equivalent to the length between your adjustable clipper in a closed position and your trimmer. So we're going to do the same thing we did with the 3-0 blade, except not go up as high. Very important that you, you, you do not go up as high with these shorter blades. If you get anywhere as near your fade with these shorter blades, you're going to wind up ruining it and you're going to have to go up way too high. The next blade we're going to use is a 5-0 blade and this is the equivalent of using a trimmer on the sides. There are trimmers that get this close. The reason why, as we said before, I'm going to repeat it again, is that this clipper is much more powerful, a detachable blade clipper, and it's going to move through the hair with a lot more ease. For this next step, we're going to shave bend around the ears and on the back of the neck. Okay, the first thing we want to do is we want to turn the head to the side slightly. We want to wipe the shaving cream off with our thumb and our forefinger so we can see the shaving area. We want to grip the head tightly, firmly, 
and really stretch the skin. By stretching the skin that pulls the hair out and you can get a closer, a closer shave. So you want to just, just your wrist and just a few very light strokes. Now we want to go around the ear because the beard trimmer and the trimmers they don't always get the hair over the ear. So you want to really pull that out. There's two ways that we can stretch. This way and if someone's skin isn't stretchy enough we can push down with our thumb and pull with our forefinger and stretch that way. And then re-grip and work your way around the ear. Very important when you're going around the ear, I hold all the weight of the razor in my hand and just glide it over the skin. There's absolutely no pressure with the razor around the ear. So back to the center section. There we go, that's taking more hair. And then we're going to work to the left side. And after every section, Comb the hair back down the direction it's growing. Okay, and we're going to comb it back down. Go back through again. We're going to come right down to the round of the head. Don't need to go any lower because we're going to start coming up with our shorter blades. Okay, we're going to start with our sixteenth of an inch attachment. And I'm going to use my clipper, my adjustable clipper, and I'm going to have it in the open position. I'm switching to this clipper now because we can get three or four different lengths out of this, from shorter to longer, without having to keep switching on and off with blades. So as the shorter the hair gets, we want to have that option to be able to adjust the clipper length as we work through. So we're going to go with our sixteenth of an inch first. It's not going to cut much, and we're going to blend into the previously cut area. Then I'm going to close it halfway down. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to cut into the previous cut area and we're going to drop the clipper down about a quarter of an inch to a half of an inch each time. And go really slow and let the clipper work because the hair is growing in a different direction so we've got to make sure that we get it all. Okay, now for the finish, we're going to take our trimmer. And we're going to use that same scooping motion around the outline here, around the ears. We want to get it to a skin length, just a one finger width around the outline. It's going to really make the shape of the haircut stand out. You don't want to go too high, you don't want to go into the area that you already cut. And then we want to leave it, you know, long enough in through here so that when we do our outline, you know, our, our, our edging, that you, can, that you can see it and, it and it jumps out from the haircut. Okay, we're moving on the temple area here, and this is the angle I want. We have the corner, so just kind of line it up with your comb. Get the picture in the, get, make sure you have the picture in your mind of where you want to go before you go in with the clipper. As we said, you know, make that line and just push into the hairline a little bit, and you're going to get a nice sharp line. Okay, now we'll apply the hot lather. The idea behind the warm shaving cream is it's going to keep the oil and keep that moisturizing cream warm. And that will keep the pores open and keep the beard standing up. So it's not as important that you really rub this in. We just get it laying there on the face. We're continuing on through section one with our freehand stroke. Okay, short quick strokes. Make sure you really stretch that skin out good. The harder you stretch the skin, the closer the shave you're going to get. Pressure has nothing to do with it. If you press too hard with the razor, all you're going to do is irritate the skin. It's the stretch that determines how close of a shave. Okay, now we're moving on to section 5. We're standing behind the client and we're shaving up towards the jawline and we're going to use our reverse freehand stroke. So you want to pull the skin down either with your thumb or if the skin is slippery you can grab the towel and pull it that way. The key is this portion of the neck you only want to shave over once or twice and you have to really stretch the skin good. Make sure that razor is as flat as it can be and just very lightly glide it over the skin. And you're going to work your way across the chin. Okay. 
one real small section at a time and really make sure you stretch that skin good. This is the thickest part of the beard is the chin. So it's important to take short, quick strokes in small sections. Okay, for the post shave we're going to take a towel that we soaked in cold water to close the pores and we're going to drape it over the client's face like this and we're going to press that cool towel into the skin that's going to close the pores and we're going to blot the shaving cream off. You do not want to rub after a shave. If you rub the skin, the skin is already uh, slightly inflamed from a shave so you never want to rub. You just want to blot. Using your finishing comb, you're going to make your first initial cut and start your guide for the rest of the haircut. Taking about a half inch of hair. Again, another subsection, only a half inch. Following your guide from your first cut, you can see it there, and bring it right down, dragging it out, and using your feather razor to just drag it down, making a saw in motion. And you can already see the texture take place. Dragging the hair up with your finishing comb, following your guide as you go back, just about a half inch at a time. With thicker hair, you can even take smaller sections. Again, don't try to make it even. This is not a precision haircut. See your guide there and your guide from the front section and you're just going back. And then you push forward and grab your middle section. We're going to do three sections along the top of the head. The right, the center, and the left side. Again, don't try to make it even spot on. You're just dragging the hair following the guide from your last cut. Bringing it lower and lower as you get to the corner and then meeting with the sides. Just and go very slow. Let the, give the clipper the opportunity to work. If you go too fast you're going to miss hair. As we said we're using the largest blade so, uh, so the hair stays looking dark. Now we're moving on to our adjustable clipper with our sixteenth of an inch attachment. And the reason why I switched to the adjustable clipper is that we can get three different sizes out of uh, this particular attachment. So as we work our way down to shorter lengths, we're going to need that uh, versatility to work from shorter to longer without taking the blades on and off. So we're going to start out in the open position, which is the longest. And we're just going to scoop the hair out a little bit in that diagonal area to just behind the top of the ear. The clipper's pretty sharp so we don't have to go in too far. And you want to work with the hairline that you're given. Not everybody has the thickest hairline and it leaves the darkest line. So we want to make sure that we don't go too far back. Okay, we're going to right into the corner there. And you want to be careful, as we've been talking about throughout the video, do not press too hard with this clipper. It's very sharp and you don't want to break the skin or cause any irritation. Okay, now we'll apply the hot lather. I just want to make sure you cover all areas. And you can rub it in and rub against the grain of the hair so it'll make that hair stand up easier. And we're going to start in the center. Now you want to flatten the blade out and just glide it over the skin. Now different from a face shave, the hair is very tight on the scalp so it's not as difficult to, shave, uh, to, to stretch the skin. The skin is pretty much stretched naturally. Very important that you don't use any pressure with the razor, you just glide it over the skin. So now as we're stretching more, you want to make sure that the blade never gets too far away from your finger that's stretching the skin. The tighter the stretch, the closer the shave. Always remember that, not the harder you press with the razor, the tighter you stretch. So now behind this ear, we're going to switch to a backhand stroke. 
so we can get in there easier. So we're shaving with the grain. Backhand stroke so we can get behind the ear easier. So we take a good amount, rub it in our hands good to warm it up. And we rub with the grain of the hair, not against. Rub that in good. 